Hi there! We start with the inside gossip where we emphasize that the counterweights used by Rocco to stabilize the model in motion are so loosely attached that there are zero chances they won't rattle inside the model already when it's delivered to you. They are easy to be fixed in its design place, but you wonder what was in Rocco's mind. And the question persists. Even when you analyze the circuit of the light scheme with the integration of a Plux 16 decoder for something that 10 years ago was done very well, 100% mechanically, depending on the direction of travel. Just to sell a decoder? We prefer to suspect that by such electronic implementations in such small models, the manufacturers are actually trying to live test ideas for other models and not to make an embarrassing profit. The first time you install the decoder you have the feeling that it is broken, because it is very difficult without any CV scheme to realize who, what, which, how. Contributing to this is the fact that in the scheme thought by Rocco, while both markers on both ends, on white and red, can be controlled manually, there is also an F function allocation for the white markers only to change automatically according to the direction of travel, but no corresponding automatic inversion for the red one. The electricity capture system is a bit bizarre, generating a slightly disturbing noise while driving. Otherwise, it is just another model where the manual operations are combined with digital operation but in a kind of a strange way, leaving you questioning why no interior light, why no sound, or at least sneaking a peek to the latest REE releases, why not a movable, digitally controlled door. The quality of the paint scheme applied is impeccable, as for most Rocco models belonging to the Austrian railways, we want to emphasize. The detailing is of a high quality level, which gives this model a maximum advantage in becoming a landmark of the collection. In the end, the charm of this model is definitely coming from the outside pushed windows type, where you can imagine yourself traveling and taking the advantage of such a kind of 3D view. Until the next video, be safe and well, everyone!